Welcome to number seven Highland Close in Warwick. This spacious, well presented and ideally located three bedroom semi-detached home is situated with an easy reach of Warwick Town Centre and its fantastic amenities. Lying with an easy reach of the outstanding primary schools, St Nicholas Park and the local train station and having well proportioned and beautifully presented interior accommodation briefly comprising entrance hall, living room, open plan kitchen, living dining room, utility and guest WC, whilst to the first floor are three generous bedrooms and a refitted family bathroom. Let me show you around. So here in the entrance hall, you can see we have stairs rising to the first floor landing with a useful half height under stair storage cupboard. Door in front of us leads through to the open plan and extended kitchen, living, dining room. But we're going to start off in the formal sitting room here. From here we have double doors leading straight into that extended and refitted kitchen, living, dining room. Bay window to the front elevation and all windows are double glazed here as well. So feature fireplace. You've got TV, telephone and central heating radiators in here as well. So panning back through. I'm going to head on into this wonderful extended and refitted kitchen, living and dining area. As you can see, it's been pushed out a considerable way and we've got bifold doors there leading out to the south facing lawned rear garden. But in the kitchen itself, we've got a range of white gloss fronted wall and base mounted units with granite work surfaces over and a range of integrated appliances, including full size built in dishwasher. It's actually a freestanding range master uh, cooker there and brushed stainless steel overhead extractor fan. Just on my right there, you've got a freestanding fridge freezer, which would be available under separate negotiation. But as you can see, this wonderful kitchen space not only gives you plenty of work surface area, but it also gives you ample space for a further informal sitting area there. You can see a nice three-seater sofa and another large armchair. And then we've also got ample space for dining as well. There on the right hand side, we've got those double doors which lead back through into the living room. And if I just show it from this angle, you can see we've also got a really useful breakfast bar area there as well. Not only have we got the bifold doors, but we've got high level Velux roof lights as well, injecting loads of natural light. Because of course, being south facing, we're getting light all the way through the day. But you've also got some lovely accent lighting underneath the units itself. Ceramic tile into floor and all splashback areas. And plenty of central heating radiators in here also. Right, let's head on through. Well, one thing I didn't tell you about as well, not only was that half height under stair storage cupboard from the entrance hall, but there's another really useful pantry cupboard in here as well, which sits underneath the staircase. Turning back round, useful utility space and you've got space and plumbing there for washer dryer and again matching units with granite work surfaces over double glazed side access door and then on the right hand side we've got a guest wc it's a modern white suite in here i don't know how well this camera will pick it up but just to give you an idea you've got wall mounted wash hand basin and then a contemporary style low level wc there there we go Ooh, camera's playing games, sorry about that. Let's pan that back ground. So, just a brief recap of downstairs. Wonderful open plan kitchen, living, dining room, formal sitting room, utility and guest WC, as well as a very useful porch on the front of the property. And then if we head upstairs, three generous bedrooms and a refitted family bathroom. Let's start off in the master bedroom here. As you can see, we've got a king size bed, two large double fronted built uh, freestanding wardrobes. So these won't be staying, but just to give you an idea of just how much space there is and a huge chest of drawers as well. So ample space for all of these, but they've also managed to fit in 
large bedside tables on either side of this king size bed. Again, just like downstairs, we've got a very big bay window to the front elevation. Of course, we're at the head of the cul-de-sac here as well. So you get very, very little in the way of passing traffic. And it is a very quiet spot. Panning back through. I'll show you and see that wonderful family bathroom. As I say, it is recently refitted. It's also got a full-size built-in shower cubicle and a modern white suite here. Your dual-ended panel bath, vanity unit mounted wash hand basin with under counter storage, dual flush WC, and then a large shower cabinet with mains fed shower there as well. Obscured double glazed window to the rear elevation and of course ceramic tiling to floor and all walls in there as well. Heading back into the bedrooms, we'll go to bedroom two. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that this gentleman's a bit of a football fan but it is a really good sized double room. Now it does have a whole bank of built-in wardrobes in here, but even with all of those in here, you can still fit a double bed in no problem at all. Large double glazed window to the rear elevation and that give view, gives views over the rear garden. You can see there is nothing directly behind us there. So there's no one staring back at you. It's currently being utilised as a single bedroom, but as you can see, there's a lot of furniture in here as well. There's a uh, large table, football table as well, and it takes it all very, very easily. So again, another very well proportioned double bedroom. Just above me here, I'll see if I can pan this through and angle it up. You've got drop down loft hatch with a ladder and a light, and that's to a boarded loft area. Now this property also benefits from planning permission to square off the hipped roof into a gable, put a staircase in and create a master suite with ensuite upstairs. And those plans are available from our office if you'd like further information on that. But it's also to increase the size of the porch and convert the, uh, the garage area at the side into a playroom. That planning permission was passed in 2021, so there's still plenty of time left on that as well if you wanted to do that work. So here we go, bedroom three. Third bedroom is a, a good single. It is a single, but it has, if I can spin round here, a double fronted built-in storage wardrobe, which sits over the top of the bulkhead of the stairs. And then front facing double glazed window. And again, loads of furniture in here, but it comfortably takes it and there's still plenty of play space. So it'd make a great nursery, great home office, or great child single bedroom. Right, brief recap of upstairs. Two well-proportioned double bedrooms, refitted family bathroom with separate shower, and then third single bedroom. Heading back through the ground floor, we're gonna head out through these bifold doors, through this lovely kitchen area, and onto this south-facing lawn garden. Not only does it have the fantastic lawn area you can see, but we also have this incredible paved terrace, which gives you an outstanding dining space. And we are literally almost directly due south facing, 189 degrees here. So we're gonna get the sun all the way through the day and then into the very, very end of the evening. I picked the right day for it today to the video as well. Look at that sky. Now it is a raised terrace area, but to make it safe for the kids, you've also got a nice little gate with some steps leading down to the lawn. And the lawn is still a really good size. You can see here we've got well-stocked plants and shrub borders and beds with timber fence panels to both sides and a chain link fence at the rear. At the bottom of the garden, just behind the trampoline is also a timber storage shed as well. And if I spin round, and show you down the side of the house, you actually have open access into the, uh, the back of the garage area there. So clear access straight through the side of the house via the, uh, the garage. And we'll just 
head down onto this lawn. It's an outstanding property, this one, folks. It won't be along, around for, uh, for long at all. So if you are interested, I advise you to get in contact with us very, very quickly. So there you go, there's that stim st uh, timber storage shed. Get my teeth in today, sorry about this. Um, I think it's the heat. And there we go, number seven, Highlands Close in Warwick. An absolutely stunning three bedroom semi-detached home and it is located within a stone's throw of all of the local amenities that Warwick has to offer. If you have any further questions relating to this or any of the other properties on our books, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. My name's Matthew Correll. Thank you for watching.